Today I'm going to be painting a Yorkshire rose onto a bike frame. So I'm going to make the stencils to do this and then I'm going to paint it onto the frame and I'm going to take you through step by step how I do this. First of all, look online for an image that you want, um, save it to your computer and then we can go to the next stage. So the software I use for creating our stencils is Silhouette Studio and this works with our Silhouette Cameo plotting machine. This has a blade cutter in it, um, so it's like a printer but it uses a blade to cut out um, the stencils. Uh, this is the media we use, uh, this is a Rit Rama by Mark L&M series 3-5 uh, to five year sign vinyl find that this works really well and gives us nice, crisp, clean edges um, for masking. I now have the image of the Yorkshire Rose open in Silhouette Studio. I need to start by tracing the image. So I'm going to go up to this icon here, select trace area, and then drag the area over the image. And the highlighted yellow area will be what is traced. And you see these little black bits here. I just want to get rid of those and fill them with yellow. So that's just by pressing this high pass filter value here and filling those up. And then I'm going to press trace and then I'm going to be left with an outline of our Yorkshire Rose. From here, I'm going to create uh, three different stencils um, to make up the color layer. We got a black layer and then I want to do the white layer and then I'm going to create one stencil which will have the green and the yellow within it. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with the complete rose here. I'm going to put a box around this. And then I'm going to select both the box and the rose and center it in the image there. And then I'm going to um, tie these together and then duplicate that image to the side. Now we have our traced image with a box around it. I'm going to put in place some reference points. So for this, we're just going to draw a little circle there and then a little one at the bottom there. This will help us lay up the stencils a little bit later on. So I'm just going to centre those in place, so there's that one, and then I'm going to group that to the box and then uh, put that one in the centre and then group that. Okay, so next thing is I want to duplicate this uh, image to the side there, so then when we lay those on top of each other, they match up. We'll um, now pick them apart to leave different colours and different parts. So first of all, I'm going to start with this one here. I'm going to ungroup what I've grouped together already. Select the Yorkshire Rose. Select the rubber uh, tool here, the eraser tool. And I'm just going to touch on uh, this leaf here. And that will ungroup the lines within the image. Okay, now that those are ungrouped, I'm going to select the image, ungroup, and now you can see that all the bits and pieces within the image are now free for me to move around or remove if I want to. So I'm going to remove everything from this stencil, and this would be um, my black outline. So this would be the bit that I'm going to paint first. So just going to remove those out, taking the, away all the bits and pieces of that stencil and that will be the first stencil that we lay down. So I'm just going to group those bits together, put that to one side and then grab the complete one over and then duplicate that again. So same again with this one, now we have a complete stencil again. I'm just going to touch the eraser tool on the outside stencil this time. So I don't need that black line anymore. Okay, so now again, select the image, ungroup. I'm going to remove the outline and I'm going to remove the green leaves here, leaving me with my white flower, but also any black pieces that I want to remain in place when I lay the stencil on top of the black. 
Okay, so that's that's our complete stencil there. So I'm going to just group this one together. Put that to one side for a second. Get this one back and repeat again. Select the eraser tool this time and touch it again to the outside. Uh, this time I want to save anything that is green and anything that is yellow. So once more, I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to remove everything that isn't going to be green or yellow. So the outside edge there, that one, all these little bits and pieces. So all I want to be left with is the leaves and the yellow centre of the Yorkshire Rose. So remove all that. And our reference points you can see are still in place there. So I'm just going to select all that, group it together. And now if I select all three stencils that we've created here and then center them, you will see that we now have our complete image there. But when I move them apart, they're in three different pieces. And this is going to be the stencils that we're going to work with. The Yorkshire Rose we're making today is going to go on this Santa Cruz. It's currently in its primer, needs its base coat on before we go on with the Yorkshire Rose, but I'm just going to have a measure up so I can make the stencils for this. So by my reckoning, it would be quite nice, about 50 mil. Cool, let's go make our stencils. Now I'm ready to resize my rose to the 50 mil that we measured. Um, I have drawn another box here and made it 50 mil across and I'm going to use this to size my rows. The reason why I'm going to do it this way rather than scaling each piece individually is that I want them to layer up uh, nicely as we've done earlier. So I'm going to select all three, centre them, group them, use the drag handles to reduce the size and to get it within that box and then I know that that rose is around the 50 mil so just leaf point to the edge there and there we have it so that's around the right width that I want okay ready to go so now I've got that like that I'm just going to ungroup those again put them on the cut sheet there's our green and yellow that one's going to be our white and that one's our black background. And I'm going to do a duplicate of these. And now we're ready to cut. So now we're ready to cut our rows. So I'm gonna load my vinyl into the vinyl plotter here. So get the edge tape that, pop it in and load the media. Just going to make sure my cut settings are correct for what I'm using. So I'm just going to adjust the cut settings, select vinyl, and for the rows here I'm going to use uh, a speed of 10 and a thickness of 3, and my blade is set for 2. Um, I don't know how other machines vary to ours, but uh, I find this setting works well for this kind of cut for me. Okay, so for weeding I use a scalpel and just a standard, um, what would you call this, Ali? What's the blade? 10A. 10A. 10A scalpel blade. And um, again, we find, we've tried several different tools and this is the best one we've found for us. So I'm just going to peel off the outside vinyl first to leave our little boxes in place here. Okay, so earlier we discussed um, the different layers of colour. So first of all, I'm going to remove my little reference points here. Okay, so our first stencil was going to be the black, so I'm going to remove the whole of that one. So that will be our black layer. The next one was our white layer, but we want to leave the little black pieces behind that are going to remain on this one. So I'm going to pull back the petal, Envy agrees, leaving these 
bits in place because these bits are going to be back. Sometimes you get that where that lifts away. That's okay. We're just going to pop that there and we'll put it back in place a bit later on. Or we could use, apart from our donor stencil there that we cut, we cut spares earlier. Just gonna... You can repeat that on these ones so you've got spares when it comes to it. But that's our finished stencils we did in our different stages. So now we're just going to put some application tape on. Which is this one here. We use a D-tape application clear. We use the clear one so we can see where we're putting it on the frame. So I'm just going to cut a bit off. Okay. Come from the middle. Bend your application up, put it in the middle, and then let it fall down. If you put it all squiffy, it would bunch up, and then you'll ruin all your work that you've done on the stencil. Felt pad, rub, and that will ensure that the green stays on the application tape when you take it away from the white background. Okay, ready to paint. Just need to cut them out. So using a pair of just scissors, or you could use a scalpel and a ruler. And there we have it. Three stencils to make a free four colour actually Yorkshire rose. Now Ali's done this incredible fade on this Santa Cruz Bronson frame. I'm ready to put on the stencils that we made earlier and paint the Yorkshire Rose onto the frame just here. My airbrushes are set up all ready to go. We use Iwater Eclipse airbrushes. Um, find that they're really versatile, easy to use and hard wearing. We, we run our pressure around 30 psi. Um, this isn't set in stone, but we find that this is a good pressure that works for us and the application that we do. Okay, so now we're ready to apply our stencils. I have the three stencils here. I've also marked each one on the back with the top side of the stencil so we know which side we're putting down. Okay, right, let's line up our first stencil, which is the black layer, which is this one here. Um, when I'm putting it on, I need to make sure I get it in the center so I can use these points here on the frame to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel away the application tape, removing the stencil with the application tape and leaving the white backing behind. Okay, and that's the top of my stencil as marked on the back. Okay, I've got my centre points here, but if you didn't have centre points there, what you can do is fold the stencil in half, give it a squeeze at the top and a squeeze at the bottom and then that will mark the halfway point on your stencil for you. Okay, right, let's get this in place. I got both sides at the most best of times, so lining this up, I have to get Ali to check possibly. Okay, that looks good to me. And give it a little rub down, making sure it's all stuck all around the edges. And then carefully lift up the edge of the application tape. Peel it away, leaving the stencil in place. Okay, now the stencil's in place, I need a mask around it because I don't want any overspray getting on this lovely work that Ali's done there. So I'm gonna use some two inch tape. It's better to over mask than under mask um, because once oversprays have got on stuff, it's very difficult to get off. 
and it's better to avoid a problem rather than fix it. Okay, right, ready to go with the first colour. And the colour of this first stencil is going to be black. So I have black in my airbrush. Okay, black in the airbrush and ready to go. We want to do it nice and light and uh, fluffy rather than heavy and wet. So nice and gently. Okay, so now I need to remove the masking and apply my next stencil. Okay, so this time we're going to go with the white one. Um, I have my reference points so I can match these up to these on this one and then that should get it in the right place. And again, I'm going to make sure I get the top up with the top on the first one. Okay, so same again. Peel the clear backing tape, taking a stencil with it, leaving the white paper behind, making sure I have all the pieces of the stencil attached. So with this one, especially because of all those little bits and pieces, and fold it back carefully. There we are. Okay. I'm just gonna line up my little circles. So that's the top one lined up. Just gonna find the bottom one. Yeah, it's all good. Once I'm happy with the position and placement, rub it down into place, making sure all those little bits are pressed down. And lift away that application tape, leaving the stencils behind. Again, peel back carefully to ensure all the pieces of stencil remain in place. So this little piece here has gone a little bit wonky, so I'm just gonna take my knife, lift up that edge, And there we are, that's better. Okay, same again, mask around the edge and then. Okay, all masked up now and ready for the white layer. Okay, so I've removed the masking from doing the white. And now I'm going to very, very carefully remove my white stencil. This is because some of my leaves go outside of this white area. So I'm just going to pick up the square edge carefully. So I want the black stencil underneath to remain in place. So carefully peel back that first bit. Okay, so the last stencil to go on will be our green and yellow. So the green on the leaves and the yellow for the centre. Okay, again, I've marked my top point. Press it all down. Peel it back. And again, line up our reference points. Top one there. And the bottom one. Okay, I'm going to 
once you're happy that it's in the correct place, press it down. And then peel away your application tape, leaving the stencil in place again. with my yellow now just going to do the center of the rose here won't really take very much We're ready for our final colour now, which is green. I'm just going to mask off the yellow that we've just done using one of our small little circle masks. Push that in place. Okay, and lastly, on with the green. Let's make sure all these are stuck down. Ready to fill them all off. First of all, remove the masking tape carefully. edges of your stencils. The green one's coming first. Right back. Now see our leaves on there. Okay, so annoyingly the GoPro froze before I finished removing all of my stencils. Um, but this is the finished rose you can see here. There's a few little bits that I'm not quite happy with. So some of the white hazed under uh, onto the black stencil there. So I've just made another stencil to fix it. So there's one that will cover the white and the green and I can just huff in this black outline just to make it look really crisp and really nice. Okay, so once again, the same thing applies with this stencil. Peel it away. Leaving the stencil on the application tape. Okay, and the single petal goes at the top. I'm just gonna line it in place. It's got no reference points for this one. I'm just gonna do it by eye covering the white that I want to mask off. It's gonna press that in place and now it's more apparent um, the white that um, huffed under which I didn't like so I'm just gonna oh. <laughs> ignore ignore the work idiot. Peel that back, leaving the stencil in place, making sure everything's masked that I want masked. So I'm just going to eliminate the risk there. And just touch the places where I can see that it's blue through. Remove the masking. And then the outside. Carefully lift the edge with the stencil covering our rose.
peel it back carefully. There we have our finished Yorkshire rose.